What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers. You're welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for all signs. Got to decide to everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Free will. Only take the messages. Resonate. Free general collective reading. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. And thanks for all the recent donations. I'm going to take some of the donation money and buy some new decks. So I appreciate all the uh, love and support and the donations. I just want to let it right know uh, because it helps. Just saying. Okay, so um, I received another channeling. They're just flowing in. Eventually, I'm going to get outside. It's a beautiful day. It really, 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 really is. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood, in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Just saying, just saying, just saying. Just saying. Okay, so... <laughs> I got Striker back there looking at me like I'm crazy. See that? <laughs> his wound's healing on his neck, by the way. It's healing. So um, I'm really happy about that. Okay, so um, this is a beautiful one. It's a beautiful one. I hope everybody's doing fantastical. I do. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, uh, crap, I'm sorry. I had a brain fart. <laughs> was... Um, uh oh my god i'm it's coming it's coming um oh yeah oh yeah okay yeah um i heard um true love is coming in for one person and um wealth um that you should have had years ago through many series of chain events is about to come to you i heard the people that have it do not want you to have it but it is about to come um because they don't want to release it but it is about to come to you um, and I heard arrests will be made, and uh, through many series of chain events, prison will be in the picture. So, so they have this money illegally. Whoever these people are, uh, person or people, I, uh, for some of you guys, it could be one person that has this uh, money. Uh, I heard a large amount of wealth. I mean, it's a lot of money. One person could have it, or two, or two plus, or a group. Somebody's got your money, man. They don't want to give it up, though. They don't want to give it up. But the rest are going to be made. I, it sounds like the police are already onto this or they're about to be, um, is what it sounds like here. Or investigators or something. Somehow, somebody's onto them. Whether it's investigators, police, feds, or whoever, somebody's onto them. And um, basically, um, they don't want to give it up because it's a lot of money. But it's not their money. That's the thing. If it's not your money, it's not your money. And that's just the truth. Um, you can, I keep saying it and saying it and saying it, but the truth, you can't. How do you expect to live an upright life if you're going around stealing from folks? And that's just the truth. Because you, you can't. Um, if anybody needs to hear that, I, I'm just being for real. So um, anyways, I feel the police is already on to this or they're about to be. How that resonates or somebody's going to tip the police. Maybe you're going to tip the police. Somebody's got somebody stolen money. But the mini series of chain events is about to be returned. Um, jail's going to be in the picture, and I heard prison down the line. So I think they'll probably be arrested, charged, or charges. There'll be some, probably some kind of jury trial, I'm presuming, or indictments or something, and then um, they will be charged and go to prison. And they absolutely should. I don't care who this person is or people or group. You should not steal from others, and that is just the truth. That's the truth. Oh, we're taught that as like, two to three years old or at least if you have good parents you're taught that two to three years old sometimes earlier than that and that's just the truth um but i heard true love is coming in for one person so that's beautiful um whoever you are hopefully it's uh like a stable grounded reliable dependable loyal kind of person um i here's the thing i would love to be in love again for me personally, I would love to be in love again. I don't know if it'll ever happen. And I'm just being, I can only speak for myself and anybody else. I would love to be in love again. I really would. But I have to find somebody like me, one, two, that accepts the way I am, i.e. my spiritual gifts and my spirituality. I do live in Alabama, and that's hard to find here. I mean, we are the largest city in the state of Alabama, Huntsville. But even, even in the largest city in the state of Alabama, people were still very close-minded when it comes to spirituality and psychics and things like that. They get scared of it. 
I feel they get scared of it and they're very close minded about that. Um, so it's, you know, I would love to find true love, but I would have to find somebody that accepts my psychic gifts, my spiritual gifts, my spirituality. Um, and I would like somebody that is like an emperor energy, somebody that exhibits all the, um, all the signs, uh, energies like desire, drive, and motivation, stable, grounded, motivated, uh, motivated, dependable, reliable, hardworking, loyal. I mean, I want it all. I want it all in a person and I deserve to have it all in a person and you guys deserve to have it all in the person too. And that's why I'm waiting so long. And that's just the truth. Um, intelligent, articulate. I want it all. I want the air sign, earth sign, fire sign, water sign, emotional, can open up, you know, um, not afraid to say how they feel. I want it all in a person, in a male, because, you know, I'm just a male only kind of person. I know some people are bisexual. I'm not. But, but I want it all in a person. And that's just the truth. And I deserve to have it all. And you guys deserve to have it all too. And that's why I'm waiting so long on a person. But, um, but I don't know if I'll find it is what I'm trying to say. But one of you guys, you've got new love coming in. I'll tell you that. You got new love coming in. Um, congratulations for whoever this is for. <laughs> I doubt I'll ever find it for me because I I am waiting for like an emperor, like a person that exhibits not abuse of power emperor, like a real true emperor, like a non-abuse of power, very fair, exhibits all the um, signs in the deck, um, energy. Um, but one of you guys have got true love coming in and that's just the truth. So congratulations, whoever that's for. Um, I feel it's really beautiful, my dear. Whoever that's for. Spirit so messages you have reflected. And somebody's about to have a, uh, their wealth returned back to them. Um, and that's beautiful too. Legs stepping into a new experience. So for some, I feel you might be cel have been celibate for a while. Or you might have uh, maybe thought true love was not in the cards for you. Like me, honestly, I would... I don't think true love is not the cards for me. I just don't know if I will ever find somebody like I'm looking for. Well, I'm not looking for anybody, but I picture the person in my head is what I'm trying to say. I know the type of male I want. I don't know if I will come across that kind of person is what I'm trying to say. If that makes sense. Um, so I feel for some stepping into a new experience is love, the feelings of love. I heard true love. I feel uh, a lot. Of, I know a lot of my subscribers. You've been celibate a long time. Uh, no sex, no dating. Like you've just been you, independent individuals um, for a long time. So I feel the new experience is new love for some. For some, it could be the wealth because it apparently is a lot of money. And I feel for some, you've been living paycheck to paycheck, or you have steadily built yourself up through business or businesses or workspace or side hustles or um what have you what have you steadily building yourself up so you're not in the house um whoever you are so i think this large amount of money is about to be a new experience too because um you're not going to be used to having such you know you're you're used to hard working for everything you've ever had is what i'm trying to say um and it sounds like it's oh my god look at this and um it's going to be uh, new for you. And the same thing for the love part. It's going to be new for you. So I think that's why um, we have the stepping into a new experience. Wow. Okay, I'm going to get one more. Spare message this year. For some, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Possibly we have success card. Or you could be an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart. Or they could. I mean, I'm not... Possibly. I don't know. We just had the success card, but maybe. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages you have like this. September. Well, we are in September. We are. We are. We are. September. Okay. So we have stepping into a new experience, forces working against you, success in September. So, okay. You are finally free of controlling energies of the past. Finally free. 
this is about to open up lots of opportunities for you and lots of communication and lots of information. Okay, so you're finally free of controlling energies of the past. So whoever you are, you had some kind of controlling energies, domineering, controlling um, energies around you, whoever you are and how this applies. Um, I feel for some it could have been like dark arts, like energy succubuses. For some it could have been actual controlling, like behind the scenes, like false documentation shit, uh, false power of attorneys, and um, uh, stealing of money behind the scenes, and creating false Munchausen type syndrome, bosses creating false Munchausen type syndrome to steal money from subordinates. I mean, I've been pulling it all in here. Um, however that resonates. Um, but however that resonates, you're free of the controlling energies now. So you're stepping into the new experience in this aspect is like freedom. This is freedom, in my opinion. This is like freedom. Um, freedom from domineering, controlling type people that really don't have your best interests at heart. They just wanted to steal from you, either energy, time, or money. Or for some, they could have had contracts on, out on your life, like, Possibly, I didn't hear that, but how that resonates, this is like freedom here. It's freedom, and also this could be the new love I'm feeling, and the um, uh, the money, the, the wealth you were supposed to have years ago. I heard years ago. So, that's really beautiful. This is beautiful. I'm glad I did this one. I really am. Um, I, I might do some signed readings tonight, but I am getting out after this. I'm just letting everybody know, okay? It's so beautiful out there. I, Really want to get out, okay? Acts, forces working against you. You have some very jealous haters in your community. Very jealous. They have strategically kept people away from you for months. Withholding of information. But their mini series of chain of events is about to backfire on them in a huge, huge, huge way. Huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you've got some jealous hateration in your community if this resonates for you. You've got some jealous hateration, baby. You've got some jealous hateration, and that's just the truth for real, for real. Whoever you are. Um, they have, I heard they've strategically kept people away from you. Strategically. Um, their lies are about to backfire in a huge way. Okay, I heard their lies are about to backfire in a huge way. So they have lied to keep strategically keep people away from you. Um, I think people helpful person or people with information or somehow they could have helped you or useful information or some way they could have helped you or given you information to help yourself or something. Somehow the person or people they have strategically kept away from you would have bettered your situation in some shape, form, or fashion. But they have strategically done it, whoever these people are in your community, strategically done it. Because they wanted to control and domineer you, but now they can't anymore. So, um, I think this is the forces working against you is the liars in your community um, that basically have strategically kept people away from you. Strategically, for control and domi domineering type reasons. But I heard soon it's about not to work. Um, you're about to get communication. You're about to get information. It's like the floodgates of um, information and communication is about to open up. Now, however you receive this information and communication, I'm not sure. I don't know if it's through the snail mail, uh, certified mail, uh, email, phone call, or however. I mean, maybe it's a blimp with a, um, with a sign on the back. I think those are really cool, just saying. But how that resonates, you are about to get it. Um, but in this aspect, it's, it was community members working against you in the past. 